Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our community caucus where we discuss the entire city council agenda. Um, thank everyone for tuning in. For those of you who can't tune in live, there will be pre-recorded video available for you to view after the conclusion of this live stream video. So again, thank everyone for tuning in. I am Councilman Gilmore, and today we will be starting with the resolutions first, going into the first and then to the second readings. The first resolution is 10.1, and also feel free to stop me at any juncture as you need, um, as, as if you need more clarity or if you need more clarity on what we're talking about. Also feel free to offer your input and or advice on anything we discuss. Uh, resolution 10.1, authorizing the cancellation of unexpended budget appropriation balance. For the cancellation of... Uh, is that the transit one? I have to open up my... Um... Yes, I think it looks it's like... It's a transit one. If it is the transit one, we lo we we just lost two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand away. Yes, it's the Department being, of Transportation. Being fools, being fools, because we did not take advantage of the money and do something with it like we were supposed to. We just we just just coughed it back. Due to the ongoing General Square construction project scheduling an unforeseen circumstances resulted in COVID nineteen was unable to award the twenty. Why are we with the hell? 2021? We were yes. out of COVID. Oh, well, not out, but I'm sorry. They're full of crap. This is an excuse. They they had money in their hot hands. And guess what? Had their thumb up, you know where. I did nothing and and we now lost that. Yeah, that's interesting. And we're in a budget crisis. Oh my why is what's wrong with my computer? So we explain that we got. Um, or is it a digital agenda? So it's 250000 that we lost out on. So yep. I, I we had like it in our hot hands. I would like to see what was the plan and the the all the reasons why this plan couldn't come to fruition. I should at least be able to see the plan. What were we going to do with the money? Did we even exactly. have a plan for it? Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and, this, and this money came through the... Let me see. Let me open this make this bigger. Hold on. You need me to make it bigger? Well, no, on my computer because I had okay that so this money was from 2021. So what why are they did they um put why we couldn't spend it? Only due to due to ongoing They're making excuses project, scheduling and unforeseen circumstances as a result of the COVID pandemic. The city was unable to award 2021 transit project. We couldn't award the project to anybody because of like that. I, I don't feel I feel like this is a, yes. a lame had, excuse. We know the money was coming in. We should have had a plan to. Yeah, we have. We have to ask. We have to get more clarity. I, I need to know what were unforeseen circumstances. Like, how do you not prepare? Like, it, I can easily help you spend free money. <laughs> All right, let's. Um, ten point two was a resolution authorizing the professional service contract. Um, for what providing accounting and advisory services? How much is oh thirty five eight up? No, really income. No, it's it's raising the total amount. Total contract is a hundred. The city needs to increase the contract from sixty five to thirty five due to increase demands of services. Okay, so, yeah, sixty five to hundred. Additional thirty five. Correct. So total contract is a hundred. All right. Um, ten point three is a resolution honoring uh, Miss Santana for demonstrating exceptional bravery. Um, ten four is a resolution re importing Miss or Daryl Laval as a member of the Jersey City ABC board. Ten five is a resolution approving a reappointment of Joe to the Jersey City Arts and Cultural Trust Fund. 10 6 is a resolution appointing Baisley, Baisley as a member of the Jersey City Immigration Affairs Committee. 10 7 is a resolution City Council directing a planning board to prepare an amendment to the revision of the New Jersey City University West. Wait, 
is direct. oh this is for directing them to study it and then it comes okay All then right. they're going to amend it yeah and, and then it's going to come back in right and again the the problem with the amendment it only that i was bringing up only has to do with the ordinances so some like a lot of this stuff that they've amended are i don't think they're ordinances but anyway let's keep on going mm -hmm. because 10.8 is a little hypocritical Okay, so 10.8 is a resolution of the Municipal Council supporting the protection of Oprah, the principle of transparent government and expressing opposition to New Jersey Assembly Bill A5613, A5614, A5615, and A5616. Well, you know, our, like we have a transparent government here in Jersey City. It's like, don't give me this hypocrisy. Just keep your mouth shut, and, uh, you know. So this is um, opposition to the New Jersey yeah. Assembly Bill um, to protect yeah. Oprah because they want to make some adjustments that's, that's going yes. to, to make it harder. Right. But Jane holds this position is like, you guys already make it hard on the local level anyway. So, right so it's like got the nerve to be saying <laughs> right and this is all about government transparency my yeah. you know what i uh 10 9 is the resolution authorizing the city of jersey city to accept the gift um metal plaque for lafayette trail incorporated commemorating uh 1924 visits 1824 visits to jersey city okay lafayette. yeah um, 1010, a resolution authorizing execution of a contract with Hudson County Schools, also the buses for the Department of Recreation for the summer camp. 1011 is a resolution authorizing award a contract to AAA supply for the purchase and delivery of various things for the Department of Public Safety, Department of Division of Fire. 1012 is a resolution authorizing award of contract. Uh, to lease servicing center INC uh, five year lease. No, it says, yeah, five year lease of 30 2023 four interceptors. Why are they leasing these cars now? Go to this. Let me see. I thought we will, I thought we brought them. Is it cheaper if we lease it? Lease authorizing this is an incident to a cooperative purchase agreement with one or more of the sales. But go down some. Those are the uh, purpose box, Erica. All right. Uh, yeah, these are good. Yeah, well, I just we I just I don't know. We got to get more clarity because I thought we were buying mm -hmm. vehicles. Uh, unless a lease in them are cheaper, maybe it's because one point four million dollar lease contract for five years, annual lease payments is three hundred and four. We could buy. Can we buy cars for that? What? What are? Well, you figure thirty cars divided by three hundred and something thousand. It's about what thirty thousand per car. Maximum uses. Yeah, so we just got to get clarity on um, why are we leasing some versus why are we buying some? Because I've seen us purchase several cars within the last couple of meetings, um, couple of years, right? All right, that's 10, what's that, 12? 10, 13 is a resolution authorizing the water contract, excuse me, to Tomahawk's Defense LLC for the purchase of delivery. Oh, what's this? Precision pants, shirts, and knee pads. Okay. Um, 1014 is a resolution authorizing award of contract Tomahawk again for what? Um OEM. Um delivery of X field ballistics helmets. Well, oh, I saw I hate to interrupt. This is Gene. Um, yeah. the only reason I'm interrupting is that actually. All these, um, you, you can't split up um, contracts. You know how they, they always split them up so that's under this or they're under that. But if you um, put them all together, say they're all the ones that are going to Tomahawk. Mm -hmm. 
they're supposed to be listed together. You're not supposed to be you're not supposed to split them out. But that's just another technical mm -hmm. legal thing. And that always bothers me because they do that so they don't have to go through a threshold and get public bidding mm -hmm. on certain items. I mean, I haven't gone through this directly to see the monies involved, but you know, this is something that's a policy that we need to change. But that's that's just my only comment. All right. Um 1014 is a resolution authorizing program awards for um community 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 service block grants um for the program year January 1 or which is this year to December 31st of this year. 1016 is a resolution introducing and approving the 2023 budget of the West Side Special Improvement District. 1017 is General Square Special Improvement District, um, a resolution accepting the assessment. Um, 1018 is a resolution adopting and ratifying the 2023-24 budget of the General Square Special Improvement District. Um, 1019, this might drop, yeah. Um, 1019 is a resolution authorizing the Jersey City Department of Health and Human Services to accept a grant. Uh, 1020, a resolution, um, City of Jersey City, sub recipient agreement with the City of Jersey City Department at HHS for administering COVID-19 CARES Act fund for the Community Development Block Grant Public Service Program. 1021 is a resolution of the Municipal Council of the City of Jersey City Community Development Block Grant. Is this coronavirus? Yes. Um, funds and authorizing the execution mm -hmm. of a recipient agreement with the City of Jersey City Department. Of, okay, we talked about this. Um, the rehabilitation of 21 parks through Jersey City. Uh, so that's, that, that's, is that the CARES? Oh, no, let's see. Uh, 1030, 1022, a resolution of the Municipal Council of the City of Jersey City awarding community development block grants, public facilities program, unallocated funds, and authorizing execution of a sub recipient agreement with the police activity. Lead. Oh, this is for PAL. Um, 1023 is a resolution of the Municipal Council of the City of Jersey City awarding CDBG funding program, the unallocated fund authorized and execution of some of uh, oh, with Barrows Mansion. Mm -hmm. Okay. 1024 is the same thing, but this one is with St. John School for the Blind. 25. 75. Uh, Do you spend any CBG, CDBG funds in water? Well, yeah, the, this the, we had a list of um, a multiple uh, of all the like all the disbursements. So they have some. They have a bunch of projects. I mean, a bunch of um, funds allocated all over. Um, and then some of the programs that, um, while it's not in Ward F, um, Ward F residents benefit from, like the PAL football program, they'll be able to go to. Um, 1025 is a resolution authorizing approval to submit a grant application and execution of a grant agreement with the New Jersey Department of Transportation for Christopher Columbus Drive Improvement Phase 2 for the Department of Infrastructure. 1026, a resolution supplement the manual of the bus designation. Yeah, I actually um bus I, so what did it change? Sorry to interrupt. Or? Yeah, no, they're gonna take away two bus stops. Um oh. so you know, for for people who are you know handicapped or whatever who need services, I think we should find out what what locations are they taking away? They're taking away Barrow Street. And um, I think it's, let me look it up. And, it right here. and Marin, um, I think. Martin, yeah, Marin. It's, uh, I'm sharing the screen, Jean. I don't know if you can see Oh, okay. It. You know what? It's just small. Uh, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could expand it, but. The only other question make it bigger. is how close, how close are. The, the other stops. The other stops, yeah. Is it fairly close? 
So that's what we have to see. Um, are the other stops fairly close? Can people get there? Of course, um, they will be handicap accessible. Um, 1027 is a resolution authorizing award of contract to share with Williams Company for the purchase of delivery of paint. Um, 1028 is a resolution award, awarding, award, a resolution authorizing award of contract for landscape and snow removal for the Department of Public Works. Um, 1029, resolution authorizing the purchase of, what is this? Purchase for almost is nine hundred and twenty. Yeah, this is ridiculous. We're buying a private home. This is a house we're buying. One we're buying. Yeah, oh, 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 it's it's a property. Excuse me, it's a it's a property. Yeah, but where is once one seventeen hut? And what um, are we doing with it? The new police precinct in the North District between Sherman Place and Hutton Street. Oh, this is for that. Mm-hmm. But why are we buying it for? Well, why are we buying it for nine hundred thousand if it's last sold for five hundred thousand in May? Yeah. Why are we buying it for nine hundred thousand? Is that one seventeen? Yes. I think it comes with a lot too. I think is I think is 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 that house and then that lot. So it's one seventeen and one eighteen. No, no, I think it's it's all it's one part but that's, but, huge lot. Okay, I'm just saying if we would have to look. And, Realty. If we had a, com is valuing it at five hundred thousand. Why are we no, buying it no for nine hundred thousand? That that may be inaccurate. There's no way. Nothing up there is no five hundred thousand. That may be wrong. I don't know. Um, it's last sold and it just sold in twenty twenty three for five hundred thousand. So we missed that opportunity. Okay. It, it just sold. No, something's, something's wrong. wrong with that. Something is wrong because we've um we voted on something with regards Recent, to this last yes. year. Yeah, before. So, yeah, some I don't know if that's accurate or yeah, something is not. But that's the picture of it right there. Yeah. So 117. I would have to look on the um I can lock and lock. Oh, it says well, yeah, 117 Hutton Street. Jeez. Yes, something's wrong. Yeah, something is definitely wrong there. Yeah. Hold on, let me check something real quick before we go on. I, I do want to see. There you go. Here's an ordinance regarding construction for the new police department. Hold up. Oh, shoot. At 117 Hutton, right? Mm -hmm. I purchased our condemnation. So this was when we got the permission to purchase it. So we got the permission. When was this? Uh, April. In 2020, April 2022. So is that us purchasing yeah. it for 500 in 2023, or did we miss the opportunity? Somebody else bought it, and then now we got to buy it for somebody else. For yeah, yeah. <laughs> Open that little bluey thing up to see what it says. This is just the map. Yeah. Okay. So we gave them. We gave the council gave city permission to buy it in 20 in April of 2022. The the this is the permission, and then <laughs> here comes the ordinance to actually buy it. A year later, only someone else bought it in the meantime for five hundred thousand, I guess, and yeah. now we have to buy it from them for nine hundred thousand. Hmm, who's that middleman? Hmm, they're oh, that's what I want to know. They're making out like bandits. Because you they know what? Who who <laughs> on the board has real estate licenses? Uh, Denise, right? <gasps> Doesn't she have real estate license? It right before we was about to buy it, and now they're selling. Now they're making. Now they're flipping it for double. And didn't, I'm just didn't have to do anything to it because they, we got to find out who that owner, the current owner, is. That's what Councilman Gilmore is looking at right now. I are, believe is this guy um so someone named what's the? Can you put the link in the chat so I can put it so I can share it? Just copy the um the domain at the top. Hold on, let me see. Uh, this right here. 
Poppy, where's the chat? Thanks. Funny. That's the business. It let me let me just sell it for um, five, five. It's on the website. Let me find out the next time we like that's like saying, all right, the city just got permission to buy 50 journal square. So somebody should right. come up and buy it from them. So somebody could buy it from them real quick. So yes. this woman still has an opportunity to sell journal school 50 journal square because mm -hmm. we just got the we just got the permission, well, permission. to buy it. Yeah, they, so she can still sell it before the city buys it. Hold on. I'm and then flip it. it. Right. <laughs> and then sell it to the city if she so oh, choose. Else. That's one seven but that was the thing. The seller pulled out because he knows now he can get it for lower from the city if the city buys it first. That's interesting that they did this. You know what? They wanted 50 um, Journal Square since for, for the past two or three years. There's renderings from, I think, 2021 that shows that that building is gone. And they show a side entrance, side entrances to um, the Lowe's Theater. And that's not public good. That's private good. Lowe's is not public. Exactly. That's what answer, I wrote. Right? You have I to wrote pay. that on a Twitter. I, I, I wrote that on Twitter. I said, this is not a public good. You can, you have to pay to get into Lowe's. This is a private use and it, it cannot sure be. Is. I wrote that on Twitter. Uh, how is the purchase price so it, it was, twice? It was sold the by the owner of the Tony Juliet for five hundred and twenty-five thousand right. and twelve, twelve, thirty-one twenty-two. Right, but we got this. The the we got the right to buy it in April of oh, twenty twenty-two. Yeah, yeah. We did so. What they did was this guy, this person, Con Juliet, brought it from someone in Florida. Someone in Florida owned it, and then they sold it to them. When was our um? When did we uh? April twenty twenty two. Okay, print all of that out because that's that's crazy. So someone basically is just profiting. Yeah, that's crazy. Someone basically is just profiting four hundred, four or five hundred thousand dollars. Also, you know, I, I'm asking myself, okay, if because it's in the Heights, you know, what is councilman it? would have known about this and would have formed somebody to buy this lot because you can make money? I'm concerned about that also as well. Mm -hmm. Those potentials. This is crazy. Something is definitely fishy, but I just want to. It's very fishy. Uh, um, all right. That's um, what number that was. That was 1029. All right. 1030 is a resolution award of a contract. Um, to bodyguards. Somebody can come after us for following this money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is how it gets scary when you mess with human money. And then 1030. So all the dirt's hidden in the resolutions. Mm -hmm. And 1031 is is a settlement uh a settlement agreement. Go to that 1031. Uh 1031. Okay, so sorry. No, 1031. Uh, dispute between New Zealand Group and City of Jersey City. Recently involved in a dispute regarding a project concerning the lower level entrance to City Hall on Montgomery Street, whereas the parties desired to end the dispute amicably uh, without litigation and with neither party accepting any fault in the dispute. Uh, city is going to pay forty-one thousand dollars as part of the settlement. So somebody lost like maybe a year of work. Did they? Somebody tripped and fall on the stairs or something? You're probably going to have a closed caucus about this. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, closed session. All right, let's go to first reading. Oh, may I say something quickly though? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. To, yeah, you know what? Because we're doing all we're selling. We're buying all the stuff from Tomahawk. I'd like to know how much we have, what type, how much of a we have spent on their contracts. Because yeah, I don't see, I don't see any. We've been doing it for the past couple of years now. Yes, and they have other. Um, they we spend other money with like the training outside of this stuff right here. Right, There's but Tom, yeah, because I'm wondering. I know there was some purchaser or someone we were giving contracts to who had connections with Shea. 
Now, I don't know if it's this one. I really don't know. But we seem to be always with this tomahawk, 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 and we're not getting competitive bids. Yeah. We need competitive bidding. Um, and that's why sometimes they break these things down so it's under 45 grand or, or whatever the, the threshold is. Threshold, yeah. So, and, you're, and you're not by law, you are not permitted to, to do that. You have to have one ordinance giving them everything that we're, we're getting from them. Yeah. Trying to get to the, uh, the well, news. Um, the second readings were all first readings last time. Yeah. For those. Um, there is a couple, there's a couple first readings. 3.1 is an ordinance um, to amend the to amend and supplement chapter 160 fees and charges um to include okay this is um getting attached to the uh the right to counsel um exempting people who's four units in right is owner occupant but the thing is they can't actually amend it, it just... by law because of this you know, we don't follow the law. We don't take time to read stuff and get community input, which is why we end up blundering and then we're thinking that we can amend, 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 because this administration does not want community input. I think I got we got to get clarity on on that because I know we've amended we've amended yes. several things. Right. Um, it just depends. It depends how old the ordinance is. It depends on how old the original ordinance is. If you're amending something that was three years old, you're fine. Well, this is three days old. Right? That's what I'm saying. So I put that at the top of the, um, before we, uh, possibly even before the meeting, well, the meeting's at 10 a.m., so possibly not before the meeting, but um, can we approve newly amended, order, newly approved, can we amend newly approved ordinances? Because according to state law, we cannot, right. which is why we should stop rushing to get things passed. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, Waterman always says, well, we can just amend it later. We can amend it later. Mm -hmm. do so say. stop, you know, and that, that burns me up. Mm -hmm. And I brought this up before as I was telling Erica, but, you know, nobody cares. Okay, so 3.2 is the ordinance amended chapter 239, Parks and Recreation, authorizing the Director of Recreation to designate areas within a park. Oh, this is for um farmers market vehicles three three is authorizing parking restrictions for street cleaning amending that and then i don't know three 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 four is an ordinance um amending the jersey city land development ordinance article definitions and what is that what's the name is not on here it R one changes are not. They said they might. It might not be. It didn't. It didn't have a um, legal. It it, it didn't. Ha it had approval from everybody but legal um, at the time that we met about it. Uh, so R one changes and cannabis changes. And yeah, none of that's on here. All right, here. Every time I don't know, I keep thinking about that. R ones like I don't. I just. I'm just so scared of people like packing people in by putting them in auxiliary units, man. That's I don't, that's my biggest fear, man. I mean, better one unit than uh, twenty. But the thing uh, is, yeah, but the thing they're is, trying to prevent people from knocking it down. So if you can get one unit and be able to pay your mortgage and bring no, in, but listen, the thing is, you, you got to build that one unit. That's what I'm about to say. You got to build it so some people will make an executive decision, like I. Right, I'll still knock it down and I'll just build everything together. I'll build the one unit in the back and then I'll build the structure here. And financially, it's cheaper to do it that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or they could say that, yes, my the renovate, I'm I'm renovating this uh my my garage and to put an apartment above it. But then at the same time, well, they got to put all the you know, the electric, the water, all the plumbing oh, stuff. Is. But may but they're gonna end up making a two apartments that's my whole point so and, and then it's like it's more people I, I don't know well it's more density but that's what that's the point that's their whole point is to yeah. add density 
Like but that's why they're doing it. But do we have the infrastructure at for some more density? No. Address infrastructure. Right. And the thing is, this we do. Do we have any building codes no, that well, are in place in order to do no, this? The building codes are real relaxed because it's is essentially an auxiliary unit. It's not high. It's not. You right. Know? But we have to def we have to define what is auxiliary unit and what is what are the the building codes that we want for our auxiliary units. And the question is fire. Like, I'm just concerned about, you know, egress. Yeah, um, I'm concerned about a lot of congestion. Well, you can only do it if you have uh, its own exit. You you can't have right. to go to the house, to go through right, the house right. no, to get to yeah, it. No, that it I has understand. to have its own. Yeah. The exit that you're going through can be like extremely small. Like I've seen- Exactly. That's, you know, and, um, but that's another like for story example, for, could you get a fire truck back there? <laughs> yeah, that's another story for another. Well, anyway, we've come to the conclusion of this week's City Caucus. I do want to thank everyone for tuning in, everyone for taking the time to spend a Saturday with us. Um, as always, share this information, follow everything Ward F, and please stay safe. With that being said, you enjoy the rest of your weekend, good people. Thank you. <laughs> yeah.